Hi, I'd like to thank you for your interest in Mountain Mike's products today and go ahead and give you a quick uh, lesson on how to mount some antlers, both harvested and naturally shed antlers. Let's get started. Today we're going to mount on a Mountain Mike's reproduction European skull. Um, the mounting procedure is exactly the same for the skull plate, but uh, just for ease we'll do this one first. We'll do it up and let you guys see how it looks. Uh, the first set we're going to do today is a set of uh, small drop time, nice trophy, nice trophy buck, not overly heavy, but um, on a skull plate. So we're going to go ahead and do that one. We'll have to cut those off. First off, we're going to have to remove this material. I like to cut them exactly flush with the burr. That makes a really nice installation, a nice application. We're going to remove this now. I'm going to use a sawzall just faster. You can use a hacksaw or anything. It works. Just made this to get it off. this up with my sander. Um, if you don't have a sander, file works just as well. You don't have to worry about it too much. This is actually quite quite good and you have to be good enough. Okay. Now as you can see, it's totally smooth. So make a perfect application. There's no sharp edges. It looks good. It looks natural. Okay, now that we have them all cleaned up, we're ready to mount them. Both handlers are sanded smooth, flush with the burr. They're ready to go. Let's go ahead and clamp one up and mount it to a skull. That's going to be a pretty good spot. And once we get it drilled and screwed, we can actually spin it. We can actually turn it a little bit. We can, we can get it to be a real natural look. As long as you get it pretty darn close to start with, you're going to be in good shape. Once you get the antler clamped up and you find a nice place for it, nice comfortable area, you get a nice pleasing look to it, then you can go ahead, if you like to, you can actually put a little pencil mark just where it lines up. Just a little tiny faint line. That will just help you make sure when you're drilling it, the things stay pretty much where you like them. Now you'll need a 3 16 drill bit. I'll go ahead and run my drill bit in, make sure it's following the, the curve of the antler, and go ahead and start drilling. Okay, now you've got your hole drilled, you're ready to install your screw. Go ahead and open your package, get your screw out, go ahead and put, line it up with your, with your pencil marks, put your screw in, and go ahead and screw it in. As you can see, you've got one side done. And now you can go ahead and do the other side. Now you might need to make some minor adjustments to get it perfectly the way you like it. But here is the skull plate with the two antlers installed. Okay, now that we have our antlers mounted to our top section, We'll go ahead and uh, connect to the rest of the skull. Just put it on top. Fits right and tight, nice and snug, fits good. Go ahead and flip it over. And we'll install the two connecting screws right here. And uh, give you a close up of that. Okay, now you got a nice close up of that. We'll go ahead and install our number six up by five eight screws. Tanner Phillips head. Just after the skull plates lined up, go ahead and install them in. If you need to over tighten them, just snug them up is all you need to do. Matter of fact, these I like to use just a hand screwdriver. It just makes it easier not to over tighten them. There's no reason to torque them down. You just want them nice and snug. Okay, now you have it. It's a finished European mount. Typically, I would say somebody in their first one to, to mount one up, I would say to take less than a half an hour. Um, I do them now in about five minutes, but then again, I've been doing them for quite a while. So it's a pretty simple process. If you're going to talk about boiling out a skull and bleaching it, you're talking about a full day, hours and hours of boiling. Um, and I've done a lot of those too, but I came up with this idea thinking it's going to be a lot easier for people and a lot more user-friendly.